street fights are so stupid. Yeah. Please, folks, if you listen, don't, don't do, do it. it. Don't do it. We all could have died. Do we all could have died. died. Yeah. And even the person who kills you, they wish they didn't do it. Yeah. Don't do it. No, I, I know people that have accidentally killed, <sighs> killed people in street fights and stuff. And There's a, a guy who is a pedophile who just got uh, caught the other day. There's a bunch of these videos where these guys, um, they they like bait pedophiles like they bait them on social media like uh the old show to catch a oh predator. right to catch a predator yeah. yeah there's a bunch of guys doing that on youtube right and this one guy got caught i only watched the clip of the guy getting punched and some guy walks up to him i think the dude is wearing a mask and he is he said something like i got kids motherfucker and he soccer punched this dude in the head and the dude fall he's an old guy too and he falls and you hear that bang of his head bouncing off the sidewalk yeah. i'm like oh my god that guy's fucked and i'm pretty sure he's dead i'm pretty sure he died which happens i don't know if he died. I, I tried to follow up too i don't know if yeah he died. you heard he about it too right yeah, yeah so this is it i'm not gonna show it on so screen, show real quick i don't know if we can oh it's illegal i don't it's not our content it's oh okay well don't show it on the screen then yeah right there bam and he's dead see that dude bounces his head off and the other guy runs off but the sound of that guy's head hitting the just concrete is just horrible brutal. and that's how people die that's well you people alive, don't realize man. how strong they are if they fucking Recent hit someone hair. you're a full-grown man you know did you google it whether or not he's dead this is the follow-up right here that's a video though did you google oh, I mean, like i read a story that said he died in the hospital <clears throat> I'll check, I guess. How I long ago was this? Five days ago. Yeah, I think ago. I read a story much more recently that he died in the hospital. I don't know if that's true, though. Because, you know, like, everything is just for clicks now. Like, Bill Maher just pointed this up, that there was a um, an article that said there's a 300% rise in measles in the United States. Do you know how many cases that is? 35. Ah, <laughs> 300 from nothing? Yeah, well, that is I was like, 300%. I don't know anybody with measles. I don't think I've ever met anyone with measles. It's very rare these days, yeah. you know? But the fact that they wrote that in an article, a 300% rise in measles, and everybody goes into a hot panic, and then you but find see, out it's 35 people. see, that's why, like, back in the day, maybe in the fucking 50s or something, wouldn't they have jumped on that shit if it was in in the newspaper and we found out about it you lying motherfucker there, there's just so many people bullshitting these days and we let them get away with it and they've been bullshitting since the beginning I mean, that's how weed is still illegal weed is still illegal because of william randolph hearst who ran hearst publications yeah. and william randolph hearst is the guy who started printing those stories in the paper about marijuana yeah you know that was marijuana was a name for wild mexican tobacco it was a slang for wild mexican tobacco cannabis was like well well known huh. and so they started saying it was a new drug called marijuana and it was causing um mexicans and black guys to rape white because they women. would use it after work because they weren't drinking no it wasn't real they were they were calling it that because they were trying to get cannabis no but i'm saying illegal. they would actually get high they were trying but they weren't doing anything they were trying to get marijuana to be illegal because they wanted hemp out of business for paper that's what it was for nylon right yes yeah. nylon dupont had come up with the patent for nylon yeah. and then there was also paper mills like william randolph hearst owned um forests that they would cut down to make trees so he owned paper mills as well and hemp paper was a superior paper and so when they came out with the decorticator, which was a machine that was much better at processing hemp fiber and they had it in popular mechanics magazine so they started this campaign against hemp by creating this boogeyman of a, a drug called marijuana that made people crazy. It's just so, so that they was the news. Money. Yeah, so that's the newspapers in the '30s, man. Wow. So they've been doing this shit forever. They've been doing the same fucking thing forever. Ooh.